While many students are collecting pens and pencils to prepare for the upcoming school year, others are grabbing their tubas and trumpets. To find out how our local marching bands stay in step, NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck tuned into some of their practices. Flutes flutter and bass drums boom as the Neuqua Valley Marching Wildcats fill their auditorium for rehearsal. At the end of summer, the marching band tries to perfect each note before they even step out onto the football field. The music, the way it sounds inside, that's how we want it to sound outside. And obviously that's a lot more difficult when you're moving and going all different kinds of directions. When they weren't practicing, the group watched videos of other marching bands to study their movements before going outside to try formations themselves. While the musicians hope their lessons help them entertain fans at football games in the long run, they say there's far more to be gained from being in the band. You learn a lot more than just like how to march or how to play your instrument better. You build relationships and you learn more about responsibility and leadership and really grow to know the members in the band. There's a, ho a whole lot of trials and tribulations that you go, with the, uh, that you go through with this group and um, once you find that the hard work pays off in front of an audience, it's just a lot of pride that you feel. Nikwa's marching band will perform for the first time this year at the school scrimmage football game on August 17th. Meanwhile, at Naperville Central, the marching Redhawks begin each practice outside with no instruments at all. We start with stretching and then we work on fun marching fundamentals. So we work on taking individual steps and working on really getting that in sync. And we practice other techniques when we're marching, like marching backwards, marching with our body orientation in a different direction. From there, they'll spend the rest of the afternoon and evening playing their instruments and then putting their music and movements all together. It is tiring at first, but you get used to it. It helps um, build up your stamina and endurance after a while. And, you know, being out here with everyone, you know, everyone kind of has fun, you know. Verses are pretty loose. It, you, you know, you find ways to have fun. Band director G.J. Allstott says the students' hard work and determination, despite 12 hours of practice in the heat, will benefit the group in the long run, both in performing and in life. I think that marching band helps build character and ultimately we're giving back to our community, so I'm really proud of our kids. The band will take to this field on September 14th for the first varsity home football game. I'm Kevin Maychak for Naperville News 17. You can catch both the Marching Wildcats and Red Hawks not only at their football games, but also at the Labor Day Parade on September 3rd.